What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and today is a very special day. Today is a double feature day, and in two separate installments, we're going to be taking a look at 1991 and 1994's, respectively. My Girl and My Girl 2. Up first today, of course, is going to be the original 1991 installment, My Girl, starring Anna Schlumsky, Macaulay Culkin, Dan Aykroyd, Jamie Lee Curtis, Richard Masseur, and Griffin Dunn. And today's show is also going to be broadcast in replay form on the Jeff Meacham Network, Thank you very much to Mr. Meacham for allowing us that. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. Like I said during the introduction, today's show is a special double feature day. Going to be broadcast here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as well as later on in the day being rebroadcast on the Jeff Meacham Network as we do on the Fridays over there where there's not a dad's not always on wrestling. Thank you very much in advance to Mr. Meacham for allowing us to come and invade the time slot and present our show over there. And this one is a special one. This one is very much a coming of age tale and it holds some very sentimental feelings to me, connections to me, which we'll get into at the end of the episode today. My girl, Anna Schlumsky and Macaulay Culkin. Let's get right into it here, shall we? Our movie opens and we meet 11-year-old Veda Saltonfuss, a hypochondriac that lives in Madison, Pennsylvania during the summer of 72. Her father, Harry, is a widowed funeral director who does not understand his daughter, so he constantly ignores her. Their house operates as the town funeral parlor, which has led Veda to develop an obsession with death. She regularly tends to her paternal grandmother, Gramu, who has Alzheimer's disease and whose wandering mind affects Veda. Veda's uncle, Phil, lives across town, but he frequently stops by to help out the family. Veda frequently hangs out with her best friend, Thomas J. Sennett, a stereotypical nerd, an unpopular boy her age who is allergic to everything. All of the other girls, except for one, a girl named Judy, constantly tease the two, thinking that they're more than just friends. Thomas J. often accompanies Veda when she visits the doctor, who constantly tries to assure her that she is not sick and that she doesn't have a chicken bone stuck in her throat. Veda's summer begins well as she befriends Chevy Devoto, the new makeup artist at Harry's funeral parlor, who provides her with some much-needed maternal guidance. Veda also develops a crush on her fifth grade school teacher, Mr. Bixler, and hears about an adult poetry writing class that he is going to teach during the summer. Veda steals some money from the cookie jar in Shelley's trailer in order to cover the cost of the class, and when advised to write about what is in her soul, Veda is afraid that she killed her mother, who died two days after giving birth to her. Soon, things begin to fall apart in her world. Harry and Shelley begin dating, and this begins to affect Veda's attitude towards Shelley. One night, Veda follows them to a bingo game and brings along Thomas J with plans to disrupt it. On the 4th of July, when Shelley's ex-husband, Danny, shows up, 
Veda hopes that he is there to take Shelley back, but to no avail. Veda becomes more distressed when Harry and Shelley announce their engagement at a carnival, leading her to contemplate running away with Thomas J. Veda begins to then see changes within herself. One day, she runs around screaming that she is hemorrhaging until Shelley explains to her that her first period is completely normal. As Veda realizes that this only occurs with girls, she decides that she does not want to see Thomas J that day, who happens to come by shortly afterwards. A couple of days later, Veda and Thomas J are sitting under a tree by a river where they share a very innocent first kiss. Veda and Thomas J come across a beehive hanging from a tree, which Thomas J decides to knock down. Veda ends up losing her mood ring in the process, so they begin looking for it, but the search is cut short as the bees begin swarming, causing them to run away and jump into the water. Thomas J returns later by himself to find the ring, and he accidentally steps on the beehive, which is laying on the ground. Unfortunately, because he knocked down the beehive beforehand, the bees begin to swarm Thomas J, just as he finds the ring. Unable to escape, he dies from an allergic reaction to the stings. Harry is left to deliver the tragic news to Veda, which devastates her so much that she will not leave her bedroom. Shelley shows concern for Veda and tells Harry that he should try to help her feel better, but he brushes her off. As a result, Shelley tearfully tells Harry to open his eyes and stop hiding, reminding him that life isn't just death, and that he should not ignore the living, especially when it's his own daughter. When Veda attends Thomas J's funeral, her emotions become so strong that she runs away. She rushes to Mr. Bixler's house, only to discover that he is getting married to someone else. Veda then runs to Herman Thomas J's frequent hangout spot near the tree to reflect on what has happened. When Veda returns home, everyone is relieved, including Shelley, whom Veda begins to accept as her future stepmother. Veda's grief also manages to mend the rift between her and her father, who explains to Veda that her mother's death was never her fault, and that things like that can happen without any real explanation. The next day, Veda and her father see Thomas J's mother, who still struggles with her son's death. She gives Veda the mood ring back, which Thomas J had found, and Veda gives Mrs. Sennett some comfort telling her that her mother will watch over Thomas J. now. On the last day of writing class, Veda reads a poem that she wrote over the loss of her best friend. She then goes outside to ride bikes with Judy, the one girl who never made fun of her and Thomas J. as our credits begin to roll. I adore this coming-of-age story. It is quite possibly my favorite Macaulay Culkin film, and I came up in an era where all of his major films were like hit after hit after hit, starting with his appearance in Uncle Buck, Home Alone, this, Home Alone 2, The Good Son, The Page Master, um, the Nutcracker, where he played the Nutcracker Prince. 
Richie Rich, where he played the titular character. Just so much good stuff was going for Macaulay Culkin at the time. And it all just caught up with him. You know, he was in music videos with Michael Jackson. He he was the it kid actor at the time. For everything that the Olsen twins were for the females, Macaulay was for the men, the boys. Anna Schlumsky was a tremendous young little girl actor. And I wish that she had done more while this was out and she was hot and primed. But unfortunately, she fell off. As Macaulay kept rising, she just fell off. And it's a damn shame because she was really good. She captivated me. The soundtrack to this film is just amazing. Time Capsule is the perfect word to use for it. You've got so many great songs of the period featured within this film. And to this day, I still say that the scene with Veda walking in during Thomas J's funeral seeing him in the casket where you can physically, visibly see the bee stings on his face and her reaction and the fact that he's not wearing his glasses, you know? He can't see without his glasses. Where are his glasses? Thomas J., do you want to go climb a tree? The, the way she goes through processing it and realizing that her best friend isn't there anymore is just so gut-wrenching and in my opinion quite possibly the most gut-wrenching scene in all of film because it's just so real and part of why this film still resonates with me today is because i had a friend like veda you know, when when me and my dad first moved to the original Casa D18 Studios, there was a group of downstairs neighbors. It was a mother and her two daughters. The daughters were separated by about three years. And the older daughter was more my age. But the younger daughter was the one that I connected more with we had more in common and being the age I was the fact that she was only a few years younger, we were still, you know, in the same age range, if you will. Well, we had a tremendous friendship, very much like Veda and Thomas Chase. And I can't say a few years ago because it's been, quite a few years ago at this point, probably close to 20 years at this point, she took her own life. You know, not quite the same way that Thomas J lost his, but she just had had enough and took her own life. And it kind of, kind of hit me the same way that it hits Veda in this film. Whenever I watch this film, I think of my relationship with her, my friendship with her, and all the good times that we had back in the days when this film was first coming out. It's just one of those films that resonates with me on other levels. Aside from it being just a great coming of age story. When it comes to my rating of my girl, you you should know by now I'm giving this one five out of five. I I cannot knock this down for any reason. Any reason. I just adore this film. What do you guys think out there? Those of you that have seen My Girl, do you enjoy it? Let me know. If you're watching along with the premiere, 
leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching along on demand, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Whatever you do, though, when you get out there on social media, let's try to get those hashtags trending. Hashtag Casa DHN Studios. Hashtag Renegades Reviews. Hashtag Renegade Returns. Hashtag Jeff Meacham Network. And, of course, the ever-popular hashtag Shenanigans. We interrupt this episode of Renegades Reviews for an important announcement about... Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Merchandising, merchandising, where the real money's made. Make sure you go over to teespring.com slash stores slash Jeff Meacham Network for all the t-shirts you see here from the West Coast professor Jeff Meacham himself. You can get shirts for the Jeff Meacham Network, Talk Wrestling, as well as the red and gold Meachamania shirts. And while you're there, don't forget to get your shirts of the Casa D18 Studios Brotherhood, the Dads on Wrestling shirt, the Renegade J.J. Williams, Stat Boy Sports Bar, and the hashtag Stat Boy Approved shirt. Make sure you go over to teespring.com slash stores slash Jeff Meacham Network and score your shirts today. Make sure you guys get out there. Do what that commercial just told you. Go to teespring.com slash stores slash Jeff Meacham Network. All the official merchandise of the Casa D18 Studios Brotherhood. Get you your Renegade J.J. Williams shirt. Dad's not always on wrestling. Stat Boy Sports Bar. Hashtag Stat Boy Approved. Hashtag Shenanigans. Get you your official merchandise for the Jeff Meacham Network. Three different designs of the Jeff Meacham Network logo for you to choose from. Along with Talk Wrestling, Meachamania, so much more. It's still summertime. You've still got some time for those pool parties, barbecues, beach bonfires. Go to the Teespring store. Get yourself a tank top. You can choose from the Renegade J.J. Williams or Meachamania. Either one is the perfect accessory for those hot summer days and those hotter summer nights. Get out there. Show your love and support. While you're showing your love and support, do what that ticker tells you to do. Do you enjoy my content, my daily videos? If so, go to that PayPal. Send me a few bucks as a donation. Keep in mind, everybody, I'm still not monetized trying to get those viewership hours up. So the only way right now I'm going to make any money is if you guys out there go to that PayPal link and send me a few bucks as a donation. You don't want to send me cash or any money. That's fine. Keep in mind, this month is my birthday month. Go to the Linktree link that scrolls along the bottom of the screen there. Click on the link for my Amazon movie wish list. Pick a movie. I'm constantly adding... Movies, updating the list, select one. When it comes, I'll open it live on Renegade Recap, give you guys a shout out. Likewise, when I work it into one of my theme months and can sit down and watch it, review it, I'll give you guys another shout out. And I'll show you guys the same amount of love and support that you guys show to me. Make sure you tune back in here at the top of the half hour when we continue our double feature day of My Girl and My Girl 2 with 1994's My Girl 2, starring Anna Chlumsky, Austin O'Brien, Dan Aykroyd, Jamie Lee Curtis, Richard Masur, Ben Stein, Christine Ebersol, John David Souther, and Angeline Ball. You're not going to want to miss out right here in a few minutes when we bring you the second half of the double feature on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as well as the Jeff Meacham Network. All my loyal fans and viewers out there tuning in for the premiere, watching along, leaving your thoughts and comments over here. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Likewise, all my fans out there tune in a little bit later in the day, watching on demand, leaving your thoughts and comments down here. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all my loyal fans and viewers out there that tune in on a daily, enjoy my content, support me. Thank you very much for watching along. I will see you guys next time.